Vice President Kamala Harris vowed not to stay silent about the suffering in Gaza, highlighting the plight of Palestinians while balancing her stance on the conflict that divides her Democratic Party. After meeting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Washington on Thursday, Harris reaffirmed her commitment to Israel's security but noted the devastating impact on Gaza's civilians. Far too many innocent people have been killed. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing are heartbreaking, she said. We cannot look away. I will not be silent. Harris urged Netanyahu to accept a U.S.-backed ceasefire aiming to end the war while ensuring Israel's security and Palestinian rights. She condemned Hamas as a brutal terrorist organization and stressed her support for Israel's right to defend itself. She also mentioned American hostages held by Hamas, pledging efforts to bring them home. Addressing the conflict's complexity, Harris called for a nuanced understanding contrasting with President Biden's more reserved approach. Biden's Gaza policy has caused tension within the Democratic Party and among Muslim Americans, especially in key swing states like Michigan. Harris's strong remarks on Palestinian suffering stand out against Biden's quieter efforts.